Engineer 775 here. Good morning. What are we doing? We're making some charcoal. Got a, some awesome hardwood charcoal. This is still pretty hot. Why am I doing this? Well, I got a buddy that uh, is building a gasifier and uh, met him through YouTube, through the Prepper Network that has uh, developed in the last year or so. And uh, as you can see in the background there, I got another barrel with uh, the gas is coming out of the barrel. Hope you can see that. Um, when that gas stops, that means the charcoal is ready. It means it's like this. This is awesome. This is uh, oak and cherry and maple um, charcoal. And when it breaks apart like that, it's great. You need this when you start a gasifier. You need charcoal. And why do I say that? Because you need to get the temperature really hot. And you can't get the temperature to break down tars in a gasifier unless you're up in that 1200, 1300 degree range. Fahrenheit that is and so and this stuff is awesome to cook on so being able to cook on charcoal hardwood charcoal pure charcoal is is also an awesome thing so I think you can see that charcoal there and it's still hot I just pulled this barrel out about an hour ago and again this is from the scrap wood that I get but so looking forward to uh, getting my buddy this charcoal so he can get his gasifier going he did bolt it into mine and so we've tested it so we know it's going to work and we just need to have a good startup procedure and he needs charcoal which reminds me about uh, uh, the conference that's coming up uh, there's a conference coming up in greenville south carolina it's a sensible prepper conference number two we had one back in april april uh, 3rd and uh, so here we have another one coming up uh, october 14th and 15th and again we always like to tell people that if you haven't found anybody uh, to network with the conference is a great place to do that uh, a lot of great people and we'll be actually probably have sessions where we break up by state and get together one another and you might find out that uh, your neighbor is one as well so um, so part of prepping is just helping one another out I got a buddy bringing me a, uh, same guy bringing me a bunch of number 10 cans and tomorrow and I told him I, if he brought them all that way that I would uh, swap them out a batch of charcoal and make a batch of charcoal for his his gasifier so uh, bartering is a part of prepping of course and um, that's about it uh, join us at the conference if you can that's again October 14th and 15th it's the sensible prepper conference number two and um, as always thanks for watching and uh, we will uh, pull this other batch of charcoal out here shortly but uh, many uses for charcoal, filtering water, cooking, gasification. Um, my favorite's cooking on it, but it's a great, great product and, and very easy to make. What am I doing here? Um, you put, you just basically, these are just old grease drums. I put, uh, fill it with hardwood chunks. It could be anything. I made a whole batch of acorn charcoal last year. You can just fill it up, close the lid, and when the wood gets up to about 500 degrees, Fahrenheit, it begins to go through a pyrolysis, a breaking down of the wood by um, fire, but it doesn't have enough oxygen to be consumed, and so what's left over is uh, this awesome charcoal. And so, and you can, when you can break it open like that, it's really in good, perfect condition. So, all right, I think that's, that's all I have to say. Please join us at the conference if you can. There is a, a website, um, just search, just Google search for Sensible Prepper Conference. And if you go there, um, we just all we ask is that you look at the guest book, and you, if you're coming, to sign up and give us a head count, and that would be real helpful for those planning uh, the food. And it'll be uh, Friday night and all day Saturday. Uh, okay, I think that's all I have to report today. Thanks for watching.